Hi, welcome back to Great Western. I'm Eric Beavers. Today's video is going to be a discussion all about Windows, a little bit of how-to and, and a little bit informational. Uh, Windows sounds simple, and they really are, but with the different products out there and the different installation methods, I figured it was a good idea to make a quick video to clear up a little of the confusion. When deciding on windows, it's a good idea to make sure that we consider the end use of the building. Is it just a simple garage or backyard workshop that's going to be lightly insulated or not insulated? Is the interior going to be finished for offices or, or maybe a residence? A barn dominium is the, is the popular thing right now. What thickness of insulation are you going to put on the walls? This is important not just to decide on going with an insulated or non-insulated window, but also to decide if a framed opening will be needed. The windows we typically supply flash directly into the building's wall sheeting and don't necessarily require a framed opening. These windows are an excellent cost-effective option for buildings that have six inches of compression insulation or less. For buildings with more than six inches of, of wall insulation or for buildings that will be finished on the inside, a framed opening really should be used. This will give you something to tie your insulation into or stop it at the window and of course, obviously, uh, something to attach the inside finishes to. On lightly insulated walls, our windows will come with insulation hold fins uh, uh, with the kit, but they only work with insulation up to six inches thick. If you watch our insulation video from last month, you'll remember that we don't recommend six inch insulation on the walls because of oil canning, uh, but the windows will work with it. Now, if you are finishing the inside, or have thicker insulation, or, or you just want a framed opening, uh, jams, sills, and headers, uh, what I'm about to say isn't going to make a lot of sense, so uh, we, we're going to put together a little graphic uh, to help illustrate this. If, if using our standard window system, you'll actually install the window into the wall panels before installing the framed opening. Uh, the window installs directly into the sheeting of the building and not into the framed opening. So if the opening is installed first, you'll not be able to fit the window into the wall panel. Uh, the opening is only there for finishing and or giving the insulation to tie into, as I mentioned before. Once the window is installed, you can install the framed opening behind it and then tie in your insulation, uh, usually with seam or patch tape provided with the insulation. If you're going to be providing your own windows, and unless you're buying uh, a PEMB or a metal building window from another supplier, uh, you, you'll need to have a framed opening. And, and we don't really recommend remodel windows uh, unless you're furring the opening and sheeting the building with stucco, hardy plank, uh, board and batten, or, or something else for a more traditional finish than, uh, than a metal building. Uh, these will just not work with our trim and wall panels. Instead, you should make sure your windows have what uh, is called a nail fin or a new construction window. The, the nail fin will make it easy for you to install the window on the outside of the framed opening. For anyone that's spent time in conventional stick frame construction, this method is, is the most intuitive, makes the most sense. Uh, simply install the framed opening while you're erecting the building, and then install your window prior to sheeting the building. Uh, if we're providing the framed opening, we're also going to provide the jam, head, and sill trims. Uh, if you want cover trims for the actual jams, like on a garage door, uh, like the sills, the headers, and the jams, uh, you'll need to ask for this. We, we don't provide this automatically unless the building has a full height liner panel or something like that. Uh, if the inside is unfinished, the framed opening just has the same look as the girts and purlins. Uh, but if the building's going to be finished with drywall or uh, tongue and groove, pine, or, or, or something, um, the opening will usually be finished to match that. So the cover trims just get in the way or they're not used at all, they're thrown out. But if you want them, let us know. So what types of windows can Great Western provide? Pretty much anything, but we do have standard sizes and types uh, to help keep the cost down for us and for you. Our most popular windows are the horizontal sliding windows uh, with a screen. They come in uh, like 3030, 4030, uh, 6030, 6040, those are standard. And 3030 or 4030 just means three foot zero inches by three foot zero inches. Uh, you know, 4030 is just four foot wide, three foot tall. Uh, other sizes can be custom ordered, but they do cost more and have a longer lead time. 
We have vertical slide windows that uh, you know, most folks call single hung windows. Uh, those are available in 3040 and 3050. Now we also have fixed windows in all those basic sizes. All these windows can be heavily optioned. Uh, some, of, some of those options are like low E glass, uh, tented glass, thermal break frames, and the frames come in one of two color options. Mill finish, which is standard, just bare aluminum, and dark bronze. Okay, I, I promised a little how-to, and I kind of already went over the nail fin install, but, but let's talk about how to install our standard window into the wall panels. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it'd be a good idea to quickly check out uh, the window installation time-lapse video uh, from a while back. I'll put a link in the description. If, if Great Western is providing your windows, there will be an installation detail on your plans. There will also be a width and height dimension provided with the window so you know how large of a hole to cut in the wall panels. When cutting into your panels, it's important to make sure that you have the measurements perfect. You really only get one shot of this. The windows have a fin uh, that needs to tie into the high ribs of the panel on each side, or the jam side. Make sure that you're installing the window from high rib to high rib, and not in the pan section of the panel. That'll make sure that you get a weathertight fit and it trims out correctly. Uh, once you have your fins installed onto the window and your opening is cut, get a helper and lift the window into place. The, the bottom of the window has a channel that slides over the panel uh, the, at the sill. Basically, uh, the wall panel will slide up into the window frame between the two flanges at the bottom, and then, we'll, and then you'll want to rotate the window or push the window up into the top of the opening so that, and so that the jam fins and the head fin are all tight against the panels. Uh, push the window up from the bottom so that the top of the window is tight, and make sure it's level. Th then you can secure the top with screws from the outside, uh, then secure the panel to the jam fins, um, and then the bottom is secured from the inside. These windows are made out of aluminum, and, and it, aluminum is a fairly soft material, so make sure not to over tighten the screws. Uh, next, from the outside, seal the top and sides of the window with a clear silicone. Snap on trims can also be provided for the jams. Uh, if you've requested these, you can now install them from the outside. I also like to take an outside closure strip if I have some extra and push it between the panel and the bottom of the window. And unless you have a framed opening to install, uh, you're done. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below or give us a call. We're always happy to help. Build great.